Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Camera. You're in for another chaotic disaster with the Orb Retro Classics. Which I don't actually think it's called that at all. So we're on to number four, football. Uh, I made my dad proud of me for exactly two seconds today when I said I was quite looking forward to playing football. Uh, and he just had a moment, just a moment, where he thought that I was a man. <laughs> um, now, as you know, the games are scored on gameplay, entertainment value, and on name accuracy. So this one will hinge entirely on whether or not it is football or American football, which isn't football. So let's press start. We've been, I've been in anticipation of this one because I really wanted to know what football it is. So let's hit the start. Oh! Excuse me. Is this a remix of Super Mario World 3's Hammer Bro music? I can't imagine. <laughs> what? what? I'm just genuinely speechless. I don't understand <laughs> why this song is playing here. I, that's familiar, at least. Okay, I think I can change the angle that I'm shooting at. And then I've got a little power bar in the right. So I guess this is a game of patience. Hey! Okay. Oop. Nah, not enough power there, so it just fell to the floor. Ah, I was wondering what that enormous nail at the side was. But it turns out it's actually a flag. Oh, no, that's wind. Is that wind? See, I was wondering if that was uh, measuring some sort of failure on my part. But no, that, that's wind. This is actually much more complex than I thought it would be then. I mean, it's not particularly complicated. What on earth did he just do there? He did like a kung fu kick and then caught it with his face. Okay, so the wind's going left. So if I shoot it forward when he's over there. Yeah, slipped it just past. So it seems that when I get a ball in, I get one down here. So I guess theoretically this can go on forever. But uh, it's definitely a game of patience. But I'm actually getting into it. Its simplicity is definitely a strength. I mean, it helps that it's got one of the better Super Mario songs. Nintendo, don't sue. I'm, I'm just playing the game. I didn't make it. Oh, beautiful. Uh... Can you fake him out? Does he, does he block more this side that you're pointing at? Or does he just go back and forth? He just goes back and forth. I I, I really like that. Uh -oh. Like, who's making that noise? Is it Blue Shirt Man? Is it Red Shirt Man? Is, is it someone in the crowd? Is it like a little pixie that's haunting them? Yeah. 
I'm having uh, flashbacks. I can't remember which World Cup because I'm sure you can imagine from the intro and everything about me, including my decision to uh, play and review these games. I'm not particularly sporty, but I remember a World Cup in which uh, my dad, my brother and I were all sat, all hinged on a penalty, or um, whatever you call this, and uh, my dad said in very hushed tones, so hushed and quiet and reverent, just because everyone just picture the net for playing, picture the net for playing, ball in the back of the net, ball in the back of the net. And all three of us actually closed our eyes and we all chanted, either out loud or mentally, ball in the back of the net, ball in the back of the net, and attempted to use uh, the magic powers I, that is passed through our bloodline to influence reality with our dreams. And I don't think it actually worked. But uh, at the time, making fun of David Beckham for being incredibly stupid was a common, a common source of jokes. I don't know if he actually is. You know, I've never met the guy. But uh, plenty of very old, stupid jokes were changed to put David Beckham's name in them. Much like many old uh, badass jokes are changed to put uh, Chuck Norris in them. And I remember the same year, but I don't know if it was the same match. I remember Dad making us promise that if he made a particular shot, we weren't allowed to make fun of him for any reason ever again. And uh, he didn't make the shot. So in honour of that, is one of those jokes that, in fact, the only one I really remember. David Beckham goes into a barber shop wearing a pair of headphones and uh, the, says to the barber, I like short back and sides. The barber goes, Yeah, sure, but we'll have to take the headphones off. He goes, No, 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 no that's far too dangerous, far too dangerous. You just have to cut around them. So he, uh, Barber does his best. He's cutting, snipping, and it gets to the point where he just can't do any more unless he takes off the headphones. So he says it again. He says, we'll have to take the headphones off. He goes, no, 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 far too dangerous, far too dangerous. And uh, eventually he just surreptitiously slips the headphones off and Bex doesn't even seem to notice. So he just happily clips, snips until he's done. And he goes, well, that wasn't so bad. No response. He goes, David? David, you're okay? No response. So he uh, takes the headphones and puts them to his own ears. And you can hear Victoria Beckham's voice going, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. I know it's not very good, is it? But uh, that's the sort of thing that used to make us laugh in the uh, in the early two thousands. The uh, that and the old Beano jokes. Right. Hey. So I'm going to keep going until I'm done, which uh, I suppose you could say about literally anything, but I meant until I get a game over, which I just did. But, uh, one thing I will point out before I finish off is just how much like a creepy eyeball the football looks like, just to get you a good look there. So that looks like a creepy eyeball, that looks like a, a nail. And uh, kind of looks like the the goalie 
his just shirt uh, just has his midriff exposed. I think it's supposed to be a belt, but it's just the same cover as his flesh. Useful feature, top right corner. Reset button. Well, that was football. Uh, I have to say, in terms of gameplay, uh, I'm actually going to give it relatively high. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And then I'm going to bunch that up to an 8 out of 10, just to make my dad happy. Uh, <laughs> it was actually surprisingly deep. Uh, a lot of these have been, actually. Um, apart from Sacros, Sacros was exactly as it seemed and was rubbish. Uh, it was shockingly deep. I didn't expect there was going to be wind mechanics. Um, it was a bit trickier than I thought. Um, I don't know if there's any way you can win. Uh, it may be if you can fill up all of those, you succeed. But I uh, sincerely doubt I'll be able to do that. It's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, in terms of entertainment, based on sheer absurdity, uh, <laughs> I have to say that is a 9 out of 10. The appearance of Super Mario music in this thing cracked me up, especially considering it, it was football. It's not like it was... Whoops. It's not like we were playing Hammer Man, we were playing football, and the Super Mario Bros. 3 Hammer Bros theme kicks in. Uh, genuinely left me speechless. 9 out of 10. And in terms of name accuracy, it wasn't really a game of football. It was a penalty shootout. Uh, between two people. Rather than uh, a, a squad. So, I'm going to go ahead and say 8 out of 10, because although there were footballs, it wasn't actually a game of football. So, this has actually scored quite well. I'm, uh, overall, football did pretty well. Well, that's it for football. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing Gang Tai 3. A name that I will go into depth on how ludicrous I find it in tomorrow's review. Otherwise, this one is going to drag on for an extra ten minutes. But, uh, thanks for your time, and I'll see you tomorrow for Gang Tie 3.